Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Judicious Fire. I'm on the iOS server. Going to be doing my seventh and final day of the Warden Challenge. Let's take a look at uh, who I'm using and why. I'm using Beast Tamer. Uh, Beast, uh, let me say this first. Uh, I have uh, multiple heroes to choose from, as we all do. I am making my decision on which heroes to use in this challenge, probably th these last two uh, attempts. I base this decision on breakthrough level. Uh, this provides the hero with a greater health pool, uh, greater survivability rate. So while there are probably more advantageous heroes to be using against this particular warden, my choice is based on the maximum capacity of health. So I'm using Beast. Uh, I'm using a uh, Sacred Light, help to keep him alive. I've got Bublo on him for the heals. I've got a Survival Insignia to give him some extra heals. I'm using Trixie Treat. I'm using Trixie Treat with a Flame Guard. This is the only change I've made since yesterday. I may be regretting this very, very soon. Maybe my heroes are going to get completely smashed. That's the beauty of the Warden Challenge. But yesterday's attack, my final attack of yesterday, I saw that perhaps there was an opportunity to create a little bit more damage. And that one change that I have made is simply on Trixie Treat. Instead of putting a Sacred Light on her, I have a Flame Guard. Uh, I put the Flame Guard on Trixie Treat because I am seeing that she has uh, a pretty high survivability and she's got a heck of a health pool, about 1.2 million. So I've got the uh, Flame Guard, I've got Rudolph for the uh, heals and a survival. PD with a Sacred Light, keep him alive. Uh, Glacy. Glacy is a pet that in the absence of buildings and towers, Glacy will be attacking a living enemy. So Glacy will be attacking the Warden in this case. I've got PD with a survival. Anubis, he's going to be my tank up in front. I've got him with a Flame Guard like yesterday. I've got him with a Fennec Pet just like yesterday. Uh, provide those heals. One small change. Instead of a uh, Survival Insignia, I have a Regenerate. Uh, Anubis is going to be under direct attack by the uh, Warden, since he's the guy right up there in front. The Regenerate will allow him to get 100% and no 100 bonus on the healing effectiveness of Fennec Pet. It will also prevent the Flame Guard from being negated like Survival often, uh, often does. So I guess two changes today. Walla Walla, with a Sacred Light to help keep him alive. Reapster Pet for uh, an extra attack. And a Survival. And I've got Bogeyman. Bogeyman with a Flame Guard, just like yesterday. Uh, I've got the uh, Mini Angie and a Survival. Okay, our team is right. Our team is good. Let's go in here. Let's take a look at the rankings. I noticed this uh, uh, earlier. Daniel XXL, it is an amazing job you have done, my friend, against this warden. Uh, an unbelievable score. 200, 180 million ahead of my score at the time. I don't. I do not believe that I'm ever going to be able to catch up with Daniel XXL. I think this is a fight for who's in the top five. Quite, quite frankly. So big, big shout out to Daniel, who has done an amazing job with this warden, Shinkiro, who's up at the top of all these leaderboards. Furex, he's always been one of the uh, great Avengers of Warden slaying. Mitris, who can beat anything if it's a demon, if it's an arch demon, if it's a horrific centaur. You call Mitris. Lore, who has been in the top 10 this entire week, an amazing player. Forge, who consistently and continuously is always on these rankings and leaderboards. Hannibal, Dark Seb, Fatty Butt. Hannibal, always putting up the big scores. Dark Seb, on these lists day after day. And Fatty Butt, who is doing an amazing job at five wardens 
currently defeated and 87 million extra damage. I don't know if everybody has done their attacks who appear here in the top uh, 10. I don't know if they've done them yet today. So these scores will change, okay? Uh, I think really with any of these challenges, it's more about the fun of the game mode and the, uh, the, the pride one gets in, you know, trying your best and uh, even when you get wiped out. Those are always the best videos, quite, quite honestly. I love fail videos in, in Castle Clash, and I have been happy to make several of them. So uh, let's give it a try. Let's get our attack bonus for the day. And let's remember the two things that we have changed since yesterday. Yesterday, my guys were doing just fine. We have put a regenerate on Anubis, and we put a flame guard on Trixie Treat. Let's see how that works. Okay, let's make sure my team's right. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, very good. Yep, my six. Very nice. I have Burning Plate on everybody. Because of that, I want to drop my heroes directly on the Warden. I want to be able to encompass the Warden in that perimeter of flame that Burning Plate provides. I drop Anubis first. Rest of the gang. Anubis isn't looking too good. Okay, Anubis went out. Again, Anubis is not looking too good. I might have to switch that regen back to a, a survival just to keep Anubis up front. I want Anubis to be the one leading this team. The I must spoke too soon. I was about to say the flame guard on Trixie seems to be doing all right. Come on, beastie. Let's remember our score. We were at 255. It's a busy day in Castle Clash today. Uh, we've got uh, Guild Wars. I just posted my Guild Wars video. We've got the last day of the Warden Challenge. Doing that right now. Uh, right after I'm done with this, I'm going to hop on to... Uh, the Castle Crisis game mode, and I'm going to be fighting the Archdemon. So expect an Archdemon video uh, very shortly. Come on, Trixie. Okay, 30 seconds left. Just hang in there, friends. Hang in there. Okay, so we made it through this one with only taking one loss. And that was an, an initial death by Anubis. But the man revives three times, so he's back in action. We made it through. Very, very nice. Okay, see how many, uh, how much damage we did. 337. Okay, so 45. 75. 82. That's about 82 million damage. 82 million. Let me think about this. I want to I wanna see what I want to do next here. 
I'm going to make sure my math is right. It was at 255 to 337. Yeah, 82 million. If I were to do an additional 82 million, and I, if I'm lucky, that's exactly what would happen. No parameters have changed. I'll get the exact same score on my second attack. If I got an additional 82 million, we would be at, uh, at 419. I believe. Yeah. Which would still only put us in in second, and I'm not even sure if Shinkiro has even uh, attacked yet today. Uh, but it will not get us to Daniel's score. Hmm. <laughs> what can we do? I'm going to come up, uh, about 20 million shy. What can we do? Let's go back and let's take a look at our boys. Okay, we're running three guys with Flame Guard. <sighs> Alright, this is the way I see it. If I do exactly what I've just done, I'm not going to be anywhere near Daniel XXL score. If I take a tremendous risk right now and do something that's completely experimental, I could very well have my entire team wiped out immediately. And I think that's fine, because either way, I'm not going to get close to Daniel's score. The only way I can get close to that score is by taking a tremendous risk, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's, let's do something a little different here. Let us put... a flame guard on Walla? Ah, uh, maybe not Walla. On PD. Let's get in there to the flame guards. Where are you, flame guards? There we go. On PD. Okay, we have one on Trixie, on PD, on Anubis. On Bogey, that's four. So we only have Walla and Beast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's tough. I don't think the two of them are gonna survive. Let's do it. Again, it's just... If you know you're not going to take uh, first place in the competition, then friend, do anything you can to make it a memorable last trap, uh, uh, lap around the track. Uh, okay, we have a beast. And what else? What pet do we have on beast? Okay, let's do this. Let's put Mini Angie on uh, Walla Walla. And we'll put the attack pet of Reapster on uh, Bogey. Bogey's got two lives. Let's 
I know I'm gonna lose Walla immediately if I put a flame guard on him, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, well, that's it. Let's have a full flame guard team. And you know what? If you're gonna go down, go down in flames. Let's go with our friend uh, right here. Bingo. Okay, we got a five man, uh, six man uh, flame guard team. Let's get our, oh, okay, get our daily challenge. Boom. See how much damage we we are. Uh, we have 337 right now. 337. All right. Team's looking good. I'm, I know I'm going to get wrecked. I know as soon as I drop these heroes, my guys are going to get obliterated. Uh, okay, so we're going to go with Walla, or excuse me, uh, with uh, Anubis first, then rest of the gang. Wait till the guy moves and then stops again, and then we drop him. Come on, friends. Come on, PD. Come on, Anubis. Come on, Anubis. Come on, Nubbins. Let's go, boy. Come on, friend. Come on, one more heal from Anubis, please. Oh, no. Okay, the attack, I think, is going to switch. Okay, how we doing? How we doing? Come on, stay in there, Anubis. Trixie, what'd you do, PD? Come on, PD. You fool. The fact that I have even made it one minute with a six hero flame guard team on the final day of the Warden Challenge is beyond my comprehension. Stay up, Anubis. Warden Challenge is the only. Come on, come on, come on, boys. Warden Challenge is the only uh, game mode uh, these days in Castle Clash that actually gets me to shout at my screen. So come on, team. Today's the final day. Oh, uh, don't lose. Don't go out, beast. Come on, friends. Okay, we're coming up on our last minute of battle. We're going to lose PD. Oh my gosh. We, we these Some of these heroes are teetering on the very brink of death. Whoa, we almost lost PD. Now here comes Trixie. Oh no, Trixie. Anubis is about to go out. Nope. Oh, he's coming back. Trixie, don't die. Look at these health bars. Oh, no. Beast is going to go out. Nope. Okay, Beast is back. The Beast is back, baby. 30 seconds. Beast is out. Oh, my gosh. Beast went down to about one health. Okay, we're almost done. We made it, friends. Uh, we were at 355 million, and the last attack was 82 million damage. Let's check out those numbers now. All six guys survived. A full team. Right at the end, Beast died. That's fine. Uh, a full six-person Flame Guard team on the final day of the Warden Challenge, and they actually made it. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm four behind. Oh, there's nothing else I could have done. Wow, that was close. Four million behind first. Oh my gosh, it came down to four million. Wow. What an exciting week this has been. Holy moly. I went from... 
what was it, 325 is where I was? Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, about. That's a very, wow, that's a heck of a lot of damage on this guy that I did with that full flame guard team. Oh, wow. Big, big shout out to the uh, Avengers of Warden Slaying for another fantastic week. It has been a pleasure and honor and always an experience to clash alongside of you. Thank you all for tuning in, and I will check you on the very next video. Uh, which will probably be of the arch demon variety. Uh, enjoy your day and uh, happy clashing to all. All right, see ya. Bye bye.